Я бы хотел с удовольствием представить нашего первого докладчика, доктор Гвидо Маранати. Плиз. Hello, good morning to everybody. My name is Guido Mavanati and I'm a plastic surgeon from Italy. It's a very big pleasure for me to be here today with you and sorry for my poor English. I'm working with Apto Surgeons from June of the last year and I'm very happy and satisfied, and satisfied of uh, how it works. Okay. From the 2008, uh, there is a um, new mini-invasive reabsorbable threat for face and body rejuvenation. There is a completely absorbable threat for a wide choice. And uh, we have three lines of threats called nano, excellence, and light lift. There are more than 45 methods of this uh, technique, and I think it's very interesting to use these, these in the face and in the body. These are the characteristics of this kind of threads. They are made of uh, uh, acid uh, polylactic and caprolactone. There is the release of polylactic in micro doses. There is a biostimulation for the synthesis of new collagen. After six months, the start the process of absorption of the threads, and more or less in one year, we have the complete absorption of this kind of threads. There is a three-dimensional structure. There is an auto-anchor system. The micro-anchors are all along the threads, and the threads don't migrate. This is very important because the old threads had the problem of migration. The advantage of this technique are that there is no cut, there is no scar, there is an uh, immediate result in a very simple way. It's a very short time procedure, between 15 and 30 minutes. There is always the conservation of the natural aspect of the patient. There is a very long-lasting result, in uh, uh, many cases more than two years. The, there is a, uh, it's a very efficient procedure. There is a lot of experience and follow-up. Dr. Sulemanize is uh, almost 20 years then is using this kind of technique, and it's very safe. This is the first line, the more uh, simple line. It's called Nano Vitis, and it works to fill wrinkles. There is a preloaded cannula ready to use with braided sutures. The uh, diameter of the needle is a 23 gauge, 5-0, and it's long, 4 centimeters long. There are two threads uh, of braided sutures that in two or three weeks uh, fill the wrinkles. This is an animation who uh, shows how it works. The areas where we can use this kind of uh, sutures are all around the face. We can use in the forehead, in the glabella area, both in a horizontal way, then in vertical and diagonal way, the preauricular area, the lower eyelid, the, the lower part of the face, the mandibular area, the neck, the breast, and the hands. This is, uh, the, now we, we, I show you a few um, pictures uh, before and after the treatment. In the forehead area, in the glabella area, and in the peri-oral uh, area, and in the neck too. This is the treatment of the glabella before and after the treatment. Very good result. In this case, there, is, there was treat the uh, lower eyelid and here the uh, perioral uh, area. We can use uh, um, with the Botox, with the botulin toxins, or without the, the botulin toxin. And we can treat the hands too. 
This is the second line, always called nano, but spring. It's very similar to the nano, uh, nano vitis, but uh, we use uh, these kind of threads for dynamic areas over more tension. In this case, we have a suture that is all around the cannula like a spiral. And it's always a, a 23 uh, gauge, 5O, and it's uh, 4 centimeters long. The areas of correction, we can treat all the area of the face, but uh, uh, I think that the best areas we can treat are the uh, upper uh, lip, the lips, the marionette lines, and the uh, nasolabial folds. Here there are pictures before, immediately after the treatment, and one month after the treatment. In these cases, I think that the results are between six months and one year. In these cases, we, uh, I treat the nasolabial folds. This is a picture six months after the treatment. This is a picture in a static position and in a dynamic position. The visage is another line of aptos sutures and uh, it's uh, more uh, a little, bo uh, little bit uh, uh, difficult instead of the nano. We have in this case a preloaded cannula, but the uh, diameter is a 20 gauge, that means more or less uh, uh, one millimeter, and it's uh, 15 centimeters long. In the package, we have uh, 10 preloaded cannula with the sutures, and we have a very small cannula for the infiltration, for the local anesthesia. I think that uh, uh, this uh, slide is very important because when you use threads, I think not just up to threads, but every kind of threads, we have to put in the uh, hypodermis uh, uh, lawyer. If we put uh, more superficial in the dermis, we have the risk uh, to have uh, skin retraction and skin depression. If we put uh, them uh, too, uh, too deep in the muscle, we can have a bleeding and we can have a, um, a result not very good. We can treat the eyebrow, the uh, zygomatic area, the mental area, and, and the neck. This is a picture before and after the treatment. This patient had a um, paralysis of the uh, right fascial nerve, and we treat just the right side just to give her a symmetry. This is another patient. We work in the neck and in the lower part of the face to give more uh, definition to the mandibular area. In this case too, we work in the lower part of the face and in the neck. I think that the definition of the uh, angle between uh, neck and face is uh, improved. Another patient, another very young patient who had a very good result. Okay. This is a very old patient, I think very difficult to treat, but she was very happy of the result. In the, in, with the visage, we can work in the neck, in the lower part of the face, and in both, in the same time. This is a picture uh, immediately after the treatment and three weeks after the treatment. Another case. This is the last line of this kind of threads. It's called light lift, and we can uh, talk about the spring lines, the thread 2G and the needle 2G. When we see uh, 2G, uh, is because we are talking about the second generation of this kind of threads. Because until 2008, we used uh, these kind of threads, but uh, made with the polypropylene, a thread uh, not absorbable. And in the 2008, there was the new line, and now we can choose if uh, uh, to use the uh, absorbable threads or the not absorbable threads. The areas of the face that we can treat are the eyebrow, the glabella area, the zygomatic area, marionette lines, nasolabial folds, mandibular areas, chin and neck. I think that more or less we can treat all the face and all the neck. This is the first line, it's called light lipped spring, and it's very similar to the nano spring. The only difference is of the size of this kind of needle and of the size of threads. 
In this case, we have the needle that is uh, 19 or 20 gauge, and the length of the needle is uh, 10 or 11 centimeters. In this case, the suture is all around the cannula, like a spiral, like the nano spring, and we use this kind of threads to work uh, about uh, in uh, the um, perioral area to lift uh, the uh, oral commissure and to give symmetry to our lips. This is a case, this is a patient who has an asymmetry of the oral uh, rim, and we work uh, just in the right side to give her more symmetry. This is another patient, one year after the treatment. In this case, we work in the nasolabial folds, in the marionette lines, and in the uh, area uh, all around the lips. Another case, after two and a half years of the treatment. This is another line, it's called uh, Thread 2G. It's my favorite uh, suture, my favorite threads and we can use it uh, to lift uh, the eyebrow, the zygomatic area, or the chin on the lower part of the face. In this case, we have uh, um, the thread is uh, directly connected to two needles. The diameter of the uh, thread is, uh, um, uh, the, diameter, the length of the needle is 10 centimeters. The length of the suture is uh, uh, 20 centimeters and the gauge is 20 gauge. In this case, we work in the eyebrow to lift uh, the lateral part of the eyebrow. This is a very young patient. I think that uh, many of us uh, um, uh, wouldn't treat this patient because she's very young and she's very nice, but uh, she uh, asked us to lift a little bit the lateral part of the eyebrow because she wanted a the more horizontal line of the eyebrow. And this is the reason why we treat her. I think that result is good. With the same kind of suture, we can uh, correct the zygomatic uh, area to lift the zygomatic and malar area. And we can uh, choose to give more tension or more volume. This is a patient before and after the treatment. We work in the lower part of the face. In this case, uh, we uh, used the thread 2G. We used the Epto spring, and we made a peeling with TCA. It's possible with all these kind of threads to use different threads in the same time and to use uh, threads and more, for example, filler with the hyaluronic acid or Botox or um, some, something else. This was a patient who asked us to give uh, to have more volume in the zygomatic area. And this is the uh, last uh, line. It's called needle 2G. It's, it's very similar to the thread 2G with the only difference that in this, uh, in this case the needles has, uh, have a double tip. We can treat uh, all the areas of the face this is a video, it's an animation who show us how this needle works. This is very important because uh, uh, in this case we don't have the risk to have a skin retraction and skin depression. I think that uh, we can use this kind of suture in all around the face, but I think that it works very, very well in the, in the neck. We can treat uh, our patient to give more volume in the zygomatic area. And we can work, uh, I think that in the mandibular area and in the neck uh, area is the best solution for us. This is an uh, old patient, very difficult to treat. This is a picture immediately after the treatment. And we can see how we can work in the definition of the angle between face and the neck the same patient from the other side. Another patient, in this picture, in the right picture, we can see uh, two or three wrinkles. This is normal. When we use the needle 2G in the neck, we always, at the end of the treatment, have wrinkles in this area. 
if we don't have wrinkles in this area is because we didn't uh, uh, gave a very good result. We have to uh, leave these wrinkles and in uh, one week or uh, maximum two weeks they, w they go away. Oh, sorry, this is the... Uh, okay. Okay. The same patient. Another patient, in this case we work in the mandibular area, just to lift it. In this case, uh, we work about uh, um, uh, improving the definition of the angle between face and neck, and this photo is one year after the treatment. Another patient, in this case, we made uh, a more than one treatment, as you can see. What about now, let's talk just a few minutes about the contraindication of this kind of uh, treatments. There are um, a few contraindications, general contraindications, like autoimmune disease, disease of collagen, heart disease, hypertension, and so on. I think that uh, the uh, more important contraindication is the last one, is the permanent filler in the area that we, we want to treat. This is uh, uh, why, because we are using a thread who is working, giving a biostimulation to our tissue. And I think it's not a very good idea to put something like this in an area wh where we can have a permanent filler. Complication and suggestion. I think that in uh, medicine there isn't any procedure who hasn't complication. The only way not to have complication, I think, that is not to do anything. Uh, the more frequent complications are asymmetry. Uh, because many of our patients have a little bit of asymmetry before the treatment. The skin retraction is another complication. The inflammation, the inflammation is not so common. And the migration. The migration was a very high complication in the last years, but with the new design of these uh, threats, now we don't have uh, more any uh, this kind of complication. This, for example, is a, an uh, hypercorrection, but uh, it was our fault because we uh, pulled so much. This is a skin retraction after two weeks. Before I talked to you that uh, um, in many cases we can have a very small retraction, a very small wrinkle, and usually in one week or two weeks it goes away. If in two weeks it doesn't go away, is because we put our threads too superficial. And this is the reason why we have uh, the, this kind of complication. What about the treatment for correction of this problem? <coughs> we, have, uh, we can make physiotherapy. We can uh, uh, explain to our patient to massage the area. We can use fillers, for example, to uh, fill a very small retraction or a very small depression or just to give symmetry to our patient. We can uh, uh, remove the suture if we, have for, if we have, for example, a very important inflammation. We correct the inflammation with uh, drugs and uh, we can remove our suture in the case of migration. This is a very useful needle that uh, we can use to remove the suture because we just use a needle to uh, make a very small hole in the skin and with this kind of needle, we can put our threads and pull, and then cut. It's a very simple way. This is a scale of satisfaction of our patient, and I think that it's uh, funny, because in the first uh, few days, we don't have a lot of patients that they are so happy. Why? Because there are um, a kind of threads, for example, the nanovitis or the nanospring, that works giving a biostimulation to our tissue. But it uh, uh, lasts uh, uh, three or four weeks. And in the first few days, we don't have any, a very good result. And uh, uh, sometimes when we use, for example, the needle 2G, we have a very small retraction, we can have a wrinkle. And this is the reason why many of our patients are not so happy in the first few days. But uh, in the last uh, uh, days and in the last weeks, as we can see in the, in the, um, uh, in the graphic uh, uh, after six months, we can see that uh, uh, most of our patients are very, very satisfied. 
Just for conclusion, I think that uh, none of the complications presented raise the appearance of uh, durable functional disorders and visible and persistent aesthetic effects. None of the complications presented require the need of prolonged treatment. It's very easy to treat and it's very fast to treat. Most complications happened as a result of an improper performance of uh, us and uh, for a known knowledge of basic techniques. Thanks to all, we have a very good result in almost 10% uh, uh, of patients, and I think that they are very happy of their result. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And now um, my colleague, Dr. Lucia Campanini, will show you uh, some uh, photos, some, some pictures. Please, I ask you a favor, if it's possible, not to take picture of this picture of the, our colleague, because this patient don't want. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Thank you very much. I'm going to show you some pages. I made in my, in my office in Milano. Mm -hmm. This is a patient of age 65 years old. Sorry. I have to repeat. Okay. I thank you for your attention. I am Lucia Campanini. I work in Milano and Lugano, Switzerland. And I've been using uh, these threads uh, for one year, and I'm, I am very satisfied, and so my patient that I present here. Um, uh, this is um, a 65-year-old uh, patient, and I used visage and uh, eye needle in the neck. I use five visages per, per uh, part of the left and right, and then uh, two eye needles in the neck and mandibular line. This is a 62 patient. I used thread uh, um, One thread for for uh, the right part and one for the left. The same patient. This is the marks. The same. This is a 46 year old lady, and I used a uh, um, thread duji in the lower part of the, of the face. This is a 63 years old patient, and I use uh, two eye needles in the, in the neck. Uh, after we have another photo of this lady, but here is another case where I used uh, in a 63 years old lady uh, eye needle to in the neck and thread to G for the lower part of the face. The same patient, and this is the patient uh, I presented before with the with the eye needle in the neck, 63 years old, the same. And the same in the other side. This is a 46 man, and I use the thread do G, one for side. The same and the marks, the preoperative marks, and the same. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Guido. Very interesting lecture. 
uh, very good result. Thank you. Uh, uh, если есть какие-то вопросы, do you have some question for our lecture? Вы можете задать. Please. А есть микрофон у нас? My question is about contraindication. Yeah, what kind of heart disease? Okay. Uh, usually, when I perform this kind of suture, I use an, uh, a local anesthesia with uh, lidocaine and adrenaline. If we have a patient who has uh, um, heart disease, I don't use adrenaline, okay? And in uh, some cases, for example, the um, hypertension of second and third degree, I don't treat my patient. And sometimes I don't treat my patient when they, uh, they have a problem about the coagulation. For example, they are um, taking drugs and they are not coagulated. It depends uh, by the kind of suture that I have to use. For example, when I use the nano lines, the nano vitis or the nano spring, I can use it uh, in, uh, in every case. But for example, if I have to use the needle to, needle to G in the neck, or maybe the threat to G in the, in the face, if I have a patient who has a problem with the coagulation, I prefer not, not to treat him. Permanent, permanent failure. Is a silicone or, or, or what you? Well, oh, sorry. Sorry. When I have a patient who have a permanent failure in the area that uh, I want to treat, I don't treat the patient. It can be silicone, it can be aquamid, it can be formacryl, it can be um, any kind of permanent failure. I prefer not to treat. Only in the place, for example, if uh, my patient has the, the silicone in the zygomatic area and uh, he wants to treat the neck, no problem, I can treat. But if he wants to lift the, uh, the, this area and this area is full of the silicone, for example, I prefer not to treat him. Uh, well, <laughs> very good. I don't consider the scorpion as a permanent filler. If my patient uh, had the scorpion in the past, I treat my patient. Thank you. Radius too. Radius too. The same. I consider the radius uh, uh, not permanent filler, uh, per, uh, a temporary filler, and I, I treat my patient. Thank you. Thank you. For a question, do you have some question? No. Oh. How often uh, the patients uh, have the problem with the damaging of the facial nerve? The facial nerve? Never. I will never, never. I think that it's almost impossible. I'm using this kind of threads since June of the last year. My experience is more or less about 10 months. I don't have the experience, for example, that has Dr. Kostantin Sulemanidze or his father. But in all my cases, I've never had a problem with a facial injury. I just talked to um, Kostantin Sulemanidze and he has a very big experience and he never had this kind of problem. I think that the reason why is that we, uh, we um, put our threads in the subdermis uh, lawyer, in the subcutis, and the nerve is uh, always, uh, in this case, deeper. We, we do, we, I think that we don't have this risk.